Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss the numericals which are based upon the consumptive uses of the water. So let's start. So the first problem, it says that determine the evapotranspiration which is the consumptive use and the net irrigation requirement for the crop of the wheat if the crop factor for the growing season is 0.8 now as you can see this wheat is a rabi crop and that usually extend in the winter season therefore for the winter season the data has been given starting from the month of november to february now corresponding to these months the mean monthly temperature that has been given in degree celsius for November it is 18 degrees Celsius for December 15 and 13.5 and 14.5 respectively. Then for each month the monthly percentage of the sunshine hours that has been given. That means 7.2% is the sunshine hours of the total 24 hours for this November month then 7.15 for December month. 7.3 for the month of January and 7.1 for the month of February. Then for each of the month effective rainfall in centimeters that has been given as 2.6, 2.8. January is having maximum rainfall that is 3.5 and for February it is 2.0. Now for the monthly data we know that one equation is available that gives us the value for the that gives us the value for the monthly consumptive use that is represented by Cu and that equation that was given by scientist Rio which are known as the Blaney Criddle. So according to this Blaney Criddle equation the consumptive use is given as K into P divided by 40 into 1.8 t plus 32 where this k is the crop factor where this k is the crop factor this p is the monthly percentage of the sunshine hours and this t is the mean monthly temperature in degree celsius now from this equation this value of Cu that we are getting that is the monthly consumptive uses in centimeters. So the units must be kept in mind. This value is obtained in centimeter. Now as we know that this value of the crop factor that has been given for a growing season of the wheat crop. And for each of the month this value of P and T that will be varying. So for that purpose what we do we consider this P by 40 into 1.T plus 32 as a different value which is represented by small f. For each of the month we will be having separate f value and ultimately what we will do we will sum all the f values and those f value summation that has to be multiplied with the crop factor of the growing season and that will ultimately result into the consumptive use for the entire season so that is the calculation for the seasonal values so we know the p value for each of the month and the mean monthly temperature for each of the month so first of all we will calculate the f value for each of the month so this F value is P by 40 into 1.8 T plus 32. Now for each of the month starting for the November, then December, then January and after that for February. We will calculate the data for each of the month. Now for the November month this P value that is this monthly percentage is 7.2 while the mean temperature is 18. So placing the value here that is 7.2 divided by 40 into 1.8 into this monthly temperature is 18 degrees celsius plus 32 
Now from this, if we calculate this F value, that comes out to be 11.6. Similarly, for the month of December, this P value is 7.15, while the small t value that is 15. So, placing the value that is 7.15 divided by 40 into 1.8 into 15 plus 32. This will result into the value of 10.5. Now for the month of January, this small p value is 7.3 and small t value is 13.5. So that is 7.3 by 40 into 1.8 into 13.5 plus 32. From this, if we carry out the calculation, that gives us the value of 10.3. And for the February month, the last month, the small p value is 7.10 and small t value is 14.5. So 7.1 divided by 40 into 1.8 into 14.5 plus 32. From here again, we are getting the value of 10.3. Now these are the values for each of the month. Now if we want to calculate this F value for the entire season, that means we will need to sum all of these values. And if we sum up this value, that comes out to be 42.7. Now we know that from this formulation, the answer that we get, that is calculated in centimeters. So the unit of this value will be centimeters. So the summation F value is equal to 42.7 cm. Therefore, therefore, the seasonal evapotranspiration that is Cu that will be equal to K into summation of F. We know the value of K that is 0.8 for the entire season and this summation F value that is 42.7 cm. So from here the consumptive use that we are getting the consumptive use that we are getting that is this equal to 34.16 cm. That means for the growth of the plant that, that we are talking about that is wheat. So for the entire season this plant will require 34.16 cm depth of the water for its evapotranspiration needs. That means this much amount of water has to be supplied by the irrigation facility and if we supply this much amount of water so this requirement of the water that is known as the consumptive irrigation requirement of the crop but if we look at the problem there is one more data that has been given which is the effective rainfall so for the each month effective rainfall has been given that means certain needs of the plant that has been fulfilled because of the rainfall. So if we sum up all of these values, so this summation of the rainfall for each of the month, that gives us the value for the entire season. So in this entire season of the wheat crop, the total rainfall that is, is equal to 10.9 cm. That means this amount of water has been provided naturally and the consumptive use that came out to be equal to 34.16 cm. And the effective rainfall, if we sum up all the values, 10.9 cm that has been fulfilled because of the rainfall. Therefore, if we subtract this value, we will get the net irrigation that how much irrigation is required now that will be the consumptive use minus the summation of rainfall that is 34.16 minus 10.9 34.6 minus 10.9 so if we subtract this value we get the answer as 23.26 centimeters this is the net irrigation which is required for the entire season of the wheat crop. That completes the first problem. Moving on to the next problem.
it states that determine the evapotranspiration and the net irrigation requirement for the crop of the jowar which is sown at the Bellary Karnataka from the following data. Now again you can look at this data. This jowar is a rabi crop which is again the winter crop and the data that has been given for the October, November, December, January and February. Typically the winter months of the India. Now if you carefully look at the data, now in this case the pan evaporation has been given. That is represented by EP. Then the consumptive use coefficient capital K that has been given. And again the effective rainfall has been given. Now from this value that has been given to you, you can make the guesses about the method that is to be used for the determination of the evapotranspiration. So if you remember this Hargreaves class A pan method in that in class A pan evaporation method we have seen that the consumptive use coefficient that is represented by capital K that is is equal to consumptive use that is the evapotranspiration divided by the pan evaporation that is EP. Therefore from here the Cu value that will be equal to this consumptive use coefficient into the pan evaporation. Now for the different duration of the month the data has been given. Therefore for the calculation of this consumptive use Therefore for the calculation of the consumptive use for each of the month we need to multiply this consumptive use coefficient and the pan evaporation. Now for this October month this consumptive use coefficient that is 0.44 into pan evaporation that is 849. Similarly the next value is 0 0.54 into 15.57 on the similar lines for the month of December, this is 0 0.94 into 16.59, then 0 0.99 into 19.10, then 0.73 into 1.54. Now, if we calculate this value, that comes out to be equal to 3.74. The next value that is, is equal to 8.41. The next value is equal to 15.59. The next value is 18.91. And the last value is 1.12. So from here, if we sum up all the values, that means we will get the summation of the consumptive use for the entire season. And that value comes out to be equal to 47.77 centimeters because this pan evaporation that was given in centimeters so the unit will remain the same that is in centimeters therefore the evapotranspiration value for the entire season that will be equal to 47.77 centimeters that means this is the consumptive irrigation requirement that means for the growth of the plant this much amount of water is to be supplied but again in this case the effective rainfall has been given that means in each of the month there is certain amount of rainfall which is falling onto the ground and because of which the certain needs will be fulfilled with this so if we sum up all the values so if we sum up all the values the total rainfall during the cropping season that comes out to be this is the summation of effective rainfall so that comes out to be equal to 6.32 centimeters that is the sum of all of these values now we know the consumptive use which is required in the entire season and that is is equal to 47.77 centimeters then we know the effective rainfall that is 6.32 centimeters 
that means out of the total water which is required 6.32 has been fulfilled by the nature therefore the net irrigation which is required now that is to be fulfilled with the irrigation supplies that will be the difference of these two values and if we take the difference that comes out to be equal to 41.45 centimeters this is the net irrigation which is required for the growth of the jowar crop in a particular region at a particular duration of the year so that completes both the problems based upon the consumptive uses in the next video we will study about the different types of irrigation efficiencies thank you